die, and if your FC is not on the ball, the entire fleet will die, because you have so many EHPs that you can count them on one hand. So many EHPs. If anything, even so much as looks at you, you fucking implode into base fragments. <laughs> so, the idea is that we utilize the Cormorant's one and only good aspect to its fullest extent and be retarded about it. So, Cormorant is really good at firing at things from long ways away. So we abuse the shit out of that by putting two locus coordinators on it so he can abuse people from even fucking farther away. So, instead of traditionally where we engage in people in normal fleet combat, like, you know, like jump through a gate and be like, FIGHT! This time, we get to play the role of cowards and sit at things from 100 kilometers away and shoot them in the face while laughing Yay. because they can't do anything else. If we are actually receiving counterfire, we're doing it wrong. Ah, so once I actually get to ask a scammer, we're going to do some like mock movements because the fleet operates a lot differently than a traditional fleet. You have to be quite on the ball uh, with your broadcasts. Not, sorry, not, you are not going to be broadcast you're going to be following my broadcast. So if you don't have the broadcast window open, you need to click the little three lines in the top left corner, and then go to social and fleet. You want to make sure that your fleet window is visible at all times. You want to have it set to the history uh, tab. Now, this fleet uses a line to broadcasts, which is something that you might have cleared if you're an elite PvP or I don't know. Uh, so click the little four lines beside the word fleet 57 members. You want to mouse down to uh, broadcast settings, and you want to make sure that you have the broadcast aligned to broadcast checkmark so that you will actually see it. Uh, so that's a very important one because we're going to be using aligns. Normally we fight aligned, and although you may have flown in a fleet before where you wait until the uh, FC calls for you to warp off, this is not the case. If you are ever yellow boxed or red boxed or think that you're in danger, you need to warp yourself off. I am going to be calling targets and judging our distance from fleets and engagements and whatnot, but uh, there are going to be some engagements where the opponent does have the ability to shoot at us. Hopefully they bring something like caracals, so that when you can see the caracals yellow or red box you, you have time to warp off. Something like uh, you know an oracle, a naga, or a tornado where they have instantaneous damage application, we have to be even more careful. So. This is not to uh, stay and die and fight to the last man. This is lol, waste the opponent's time by making them lock a target that's just going to warp off right before they're about to fire. That's how you win engagements. I'm going to say it now. If you warp off in the middle of the engagement, and the engagement lasts long enough that you have the ability to warp back to the fleet, don't fucking do it. If you do it, 9 times out of 10, after you've warped back to me, I will leave the field, you'll land alone, and you'll die alone because you're a little bitch. Got it? Don't do it. That's loving words. You hurt my feelings. FC. Good. You fucking pansy. <laughs> FC, I'm a little bitch. And yeah, I like fighting like a coward. Your, your abuse yeah. gets me hard. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. I didn't realize I had the mic open. That was your inside voice, wasn't it? Okay, if you uh, warp to the top belt in SS Gamma for me. If you're in SS Gamma, undock, warp to the top belt. FC, what's a belt? Mm -hmm. When you right click in space, you my belt's getting tighter. and you mouse over the asteroid belt menu, you're going to see a list of asteroid belts. When I say top belt, it means the top one in that list, in the right click menu. What's the top? The belt. The belt is the thing that uh, that you have around your neck when you're trying to get off. <clears throat> and what? The chain of command is the thing I beat with you, <laughs> beat you with until you understand who's in beat the with command. Beat with you. Mm. <laughs> ah, beat me, baby. Beat me. Yay, miner! Everyone get the miner! Leaves the yeah, just right bump there. him. Bump him. Oh god, didn't we do this once already? <laughs> yeah, we do it like every time. Get him! Bump him up! You guitar video? Too bump fast. him into oblivion. Up he oh, bumped. Yeah, he was <laughs> scared. Also, <laughs> Jane, it's your fault I posted to it. Fireworks! Pew pew! Pew pew! Who's that guy? I hope everyone's got spirits in their kill mails when they die. I will not die, I will live eternal. Okay, so I'm going to put an interceptor for me so I don't have to look at fleet conversation because fuck you, I'm lazy. They say we kill his MTU. Flew through his MTU. Anyone have it's a, a ghost. ghost. Anyone have a spare hybrid, Locust Coordinator 1?
There's shooting. usually some on the market here in SS come on, check. There's not. Yay. There's one in low sec five dims away, but there's one like five away, yeah. It's in low sec. Why is this MTU taking damage? Because someone's shooting at it. It doesn't make you get killed by Concord? No, you just no, get suspect. No, it just makes you get suspect. I'm game to kill it. <laughs> it just goes into reinforce, you can't kill it. No, it's you can a kill it. tractor, it's gonna die. Oh, it's a tractor, yeah, you can kill those. He's been mining too and ejecting cans. His fleet already left? Nope, we're just uh, forming up an SS Kama. Five jobs! Uh, how long do we have? Who yeah, shot I got a while, I still got to do the pre fight briefing. Uh, I'm gonna get Concord. <laughs> I have time to run to Amar and get, get a rig. Uh, probably not that I long. I think we have lost one interceptor already. It's about nine, one way, nine the other. Slasher, We're already low on interceptors. So oh, it's cool. a slasher. It was a slasher. Two one interceptor. Alright, so I'm your FC. Hi How me. is he still That's alive? Me. Wow, we just uh, lost somebody? Why does this always happen on a longbow fleet? Somebody gets concorded. Oh, you're a <laughs> criminal. <laughs> it's too much power. Okay, so I'm going to put A's in fleet. This is me. Hi, I'm your FC. My name is Jane, but my character is Arista Moon. Get over it. Uh, what you need to do right now is right click on the name Arista Moon, you need to go to Fleet, it's the second option, and then you need to go to Add to Watch List. <clears throat> now once you've had that, you will be able to see my little health. Shield, armor, structure, because nobody's shot me and please don't. Um, so, this is the person that is going to be targeting shit and telling you to kill shit and moving you around. So you need to know where I am. Every target that I call is based on my range to the target, and if you're out of position, you're either too far away from the opponents and not doing any damage, or too close to the opponents and you're about to die. So when I call something like Anchor Up, this means that you need to right-click on my name that you have watch-listed, and you need to hit Keep It Range 1000, and that will allow me to boat you around the field so you can just blissfully be ignorant of anything else other than killing things. So I'm going to say that now, Anchor Up. Click on me, you can just click on me through your watch list, keep it range 1000, and then follow me around. Now, at times, I will be saying things like prop mod on, two cycles, prop mod off, two cycles, things like that. This is not my instruction to you. This is me verbalizing what I'm doing so that you can use your fucking brain and use your own prop mod to keep up with me. I'm using an afterburning frigate, you're using a micro warp driving destroyer, so we go at different speeds and you have to be at least semi-intelligent to realize where your anchor is so that you're not a flaming retard and die. This is like the number one goal of this fleet is not to die, and the number two goal is if we do die, not to be a flaming retard about it. Fantastic. So, the next thing I want to do is show you guys a neat little cool trick that is almost never utilized in any fleet ever. But right now, I want you to just double click in space and burn off in a random direction using your micro warp drive. Start Do this, oh, Do I this love now. This. Burn off in a random direction. Burn off in a random direction. Oh, burn I'm off in a random direction. Stop anchoring Bye. on me. Burn off in a random direction. It will happen very rarely. However, when it does, you're going to hear me say regroup. Now, regroup is a very strange and archaic command that I'm not even sure why it exists in the <laughs> code language. But when I hit regroup, I take control of your ship. This is the Wait, only what? time that anyone Wait, else what? in the game is able to take over your ship. How do you do that? Don't take my strippers. So, the regroup command allows me to tell your ship to orbit me at 500. Unfortunately, it's orbit at 500, not keep it range 500. Which means that your tracking is going to go all the fucking shit. I'm so if you, you guys are all being retards, I'm going to be like, Yeah, hey, fuck you guys, regroup. And it forces your ship close to me. However, this will set you to orbit. So if you ever hear, I'm regrouping the fleet, you need to reset your anchor and hit keep it range 1000 again. Now the great thing about this is, even if you try and burn away from me, I can just continuously regroup you, and you can't get away from me. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm try and burn away from you. Just try and burn farther meters. like than five kilometers away from me. I dare you. Can't do it. Can't do it. I'll just shoot you. Out. Uh -huh, regroup. The power of the regroup. <laughs> I did FC, it. I'm shooting the FC. This under your power, Gene. <laughs> Regrouping. I see, fantastic. I got away. Yeah, I, I feel helpless. Regrouping. Cool, warp to the bottom belt, go. What's the belt? Last one, the bottom belt gets kicked from fleet, go! My stepdad's belt warps to me all the time.
What? Hello. Inbound eight jumps. That was a destroyer faster than me. Cause fuck you, that's destroyers right. are frigate killers. You gotta be faster than their prey. This is that's a thing. Pretty, it's pretty cool. Okay. Cormorant over there. When you land on the asteroid belt, anchor up on me. You land on the asteroid, use the knowledge that I've just imparted upon you to anchor up on me. Ah, <laughs> uh, Styles on grid. <laughs> Yeah, feel free to kill him. Aha! Oh, well, there he goes. My laser the great thing about this is using time the is distance shit. command, I get to find out who exactly is the most retarded in the fleet. And so far, it's Ibn. Congrats, Ibn. <laughs> hey, I wanted to warp your range so I could shoot you. I want to scoop loot. So, so I am just touch my with butt. my afterburner off, so if you're more than about 7, 8 kilometers away from me, you're doing it wrong. Somebody, Somebody has tagged me with a little letter A, so on your over you yep. should be able to see it. Uh, that might not always happen, because that's not my job that somebody, like a squad commander, has to do that. Which is a nice thing, but it doesn't always happen. So if I'm going to call your name out, you're doing it wrong, and you need to learn how to anchor. Stoic Carr, Dom Rihanna, Nick, Mr. Rickster, Frixen, Jovium, Tiana, Missile, and Beast. You guys are not anchored on me right now. You need to figure <laughs> out what you're doing. Was that Dom Rihanna? Is that what you said? No, Dom Rihanna or something? I am anchored. He's figured Come his on, shit out. It's good. Heck? Now the, the only people who are resting up are Jovian, Mr. Rickster, and Raven. I made the cut. Sweet. Cool. You're gonna have to judge, like, just putting keep at range 1 or 1,000 will not always keep you close to me because we travel at different speeds, we'll be turning our prop mods on and off a lot in order to maintain range off of whatever we're shooting, so you have to keep your own eye on your own speed and your position from me. Uh, especially in the middle of a fleet, I will call you out if you're not angry, and it's not because I don't I like you, it's because I don't want you to die, or I actually want your DPS to be applied. So the next thing is that when we're fighting, we're going to be doing things like aligns. So, you know, I'm going to say, once you land, align to blah, primary is blah. And then you'll see a broadcast like this, for example, and I'll say, okay guys, everyone align to planet 8, align to planet 8. Now the great thing about this is that you don't actually have to know where the fuck planet 8 is, that's my job. All you have to do is look in your broadcast window that you already set up, right click on Aristo Moon, align SS Gamma 8, and hit align 2. It doesn't matter what I say, if there's a line that shows up there, you align to the thing that gets broadcasted. I am extremely dyslexic at messing up 4 and 6 in the Roman numerals, and I always fuck it up, every fleet I fuck it up. So if I say 6 and I broadcast 4, you align to 4. That's a general rule. If there's a conflict between what I'm set telling you to do and what I'm broadcasting, you align to the broadcast. Follow the broadcast, right? Follow the broadcast. Stop shooting me with fireworks. Now, you can see how we're already strung out. Now, this will happen. Some of you have prop ones on, some of you have prop ones off. Do not break your alignment unless I call for it. Aligns mean, when we fight a line, it means that we are in danger. It means that they have the ability to shoot at us, or I might be worried about bombers or anything like this. This is the one time where you do not have to worry about your anchor. And after we have an align, if it becomes safe, then we'll do a re regroup and bundle up again. However, for the aligns, try and stick as close to me as possible by governing your speed. But don't worry about it if you get too strung out. So while we're aligned like this, we're going to be fighting, we're going to be fighting, we're going to be fighting. And then suddenly, you and you alone get red boxed by a whole bunch of caracals. Now this is when you, because you are endangered, not the entire fleet, needs to warp the fuck off. And you need to get used to this happening. So if I call your name right now, I want you to warp off. Beast, Ari, Sophia, Sophos, Quara, Jovian, Ziva, Dom Rihanna, Jeff, Tony, Mr. Morimoto, Raven, Shea, Malcolm Tempt, Dino, Lila, Emo, Endry, Tiana, TZ Baker, Hyung, Kenzo, Dark Zero. So you'll see this happening. You'll see the blue streaks of people warping off to the broadcast as I call their names. Now, after that, I might be like, okay, you know, this is getting too dangerous. Let's move out. And I will fleet warp the remainder of the people on grid. However, this, this, I just want to make it absolutely clear that your first job is to stay alive. If staying alive means leaving the fleet and warping off to our align point early, you do that. It is way more important to me that you stay alive 
then you stay on field for one more volley and die, and are unable to contribute future volleys on different engagements. So, do not worry about warping off. If you see yellow boxes, if you see red boxes, if you're like, oh shit, I might die here, just warp yourself the fuck off. Live to fight another day. So that is generally how this uh, fleet works. At this point, are there any questions about what we're doing? Or what the fleet, how it works, why am, anything like that? Yeah, who's talking? Me, Jane. Me, Jane. <laughs> Can't wait so, to die. Do you have a question or a comment? Have you, have you got any, pregnancy? any other view preset that can be used? Any other, sorry, what? Other view preset. Other preset. Give me mine. Yeah, if you can, just to you be sure overview? to see what you see. Yeah, just yeah. to be sure to see what you see. Uh, the, I'm using the one in the MOTD of Spectre Fleet, Sarah Shaw version 8. Jane, I found a picture of you. Uh, LinkedIn Fleet, Thanks. can you confirm that that's actually a picture of you? It's a question. Yeah, oh my god, that's awesome. Can confirm. What's the question? Is mayonnaise an instrument? No. <laughs> mayonnaise is not an instrument. What? Spanish is not an <laughs> instrument either. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> that was his that was question. Why is made of bad people. <laughs> this is why America's the stupidest country in the world. Oh, and you're welcome to Fraps, stream, whatever the fuck, I don't give a shit. Uh, okay. Are you so. streaming? Oh, one? No, I'm not. Uh, okay, so one last maneuver we're going to be doing is call, teaching you the starburst. Now, everybody warp to the Deedle Gate. I will broadcast. Everyone warp to the Deedle Gate, jump through, and hold your cloak. Deedle, deedle, dee. Touch my Deedle. <laughs> Is anyone oh, yeah. streaming or going to stream? If you run my deal, I might. Is, uh, if you're going to stream, uh, poke me your uh, Twitch name so I can host you on the Spectre Fleet channel. Is there a station in Deedle? No. 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 Right. If you're a pirate, just wait in Escama and think about what you've done. I just got an ult into Escama with the rig I need. I'll meet you guys there. Okay. Go ahead, jump to Deedle and hold your clothes. Is it Deedle a sec? No. 0.5. Okay, so, oh shit, we accidentally jumped into a hostile fleet. Oh no, what are we gonna do? These things aren't meant to fight at zero, we don't have a chance of burning through the gate, we'll take losses. Oh my god, what do we do? Here is what we do. First, <laughs> don't freak the fuck out. You can see in the top left corner, you have a lot of time to figure this out. We have 40 seconds or something left on our gate cloak timer, so there's a lot of time to plan it out. This maneuver is called a starburst. You see the little gate thing? Right now, all of us are spread somewhere around in a 12 kilometer circle around this gate. In order for us to have the best chance of survival as a group, we are all going to spread out. So what happens is you're going to burn directly away from the gate and with your micro warp drive overheated for the first little bit until you get to range in which you're going to set up an orbit around the gate and blah blah blah, this sounds like a lot of effort. So. Right now, all you need to do is double click in space directly away from the gate and turn your prop mods on. Do that now. So burn if you're away pro, from you'll the set gate. an orbit. Ah, I'm getting to that. As this Ishtar shits himself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're seeing how the entire thing is burning away from the gate? We're at the KVP. If we keep doing this forever, we are eventually going to get out of range. Now, the ideal is that we all set up a range at an orbit around this gate so that everyone can shoot at everyone else. Not because we want to shoot at everyone else, but because we want to be able to shoot anything that's shooting any of us, if that makes sense to you. Now, that requires micromanagement skill, and I realize that people struggle with micromanagement. So what I want you to do right now is look at your selected item overview and it will have four buttons starting from left. It will be align to, warp to, jump, and orbit. Now I want you to right click on the orbit one and I want you to hit set default orbit distance to 40,000. Do that now and reapproach the SS Gamma Gate. I'm too far out. If you're wondering where that button is, I have screenshotted it, and I will put it in fleet. I just warped to the gate. Yeah, that's fine. If you burnt your shit out, we're going back to Estes Come anyway. Anyway, get back to the gate, and then I've screenshotted what it needs to look like. So you need to click the set default orbit distance button and set that to 40,000. Reapproach the gate, please, or burn out far enough that you can work back. I don't really care. Can orbit a million meters? Yep. 
Fun fact, this is also how you approach things farther away than 150 kilometers. You hold Q and click on them. Pro tips, pro strats. Right, what's that mean? Uh, it works. It means your mom's gay. I'll demonstrate later. What's that do? Okay, that mean. so once you're close to the gate, what we're going to be doing is we're going to jump back through and we're also going to harder cloak and we'll show you how easy this is once you have default orbit distance set. So there's enough of you within the gate that you're not retarded. Jump through into SS Gamma and hold your cloak again. Jump through into SS Gamma. Now, now that we have our default orbit distance set, this becomes a two button click operation. All you have to do is select the gate and then you are going to, once I say so, click the orbit button which has the default of 40k and then turn on your prop mod. Now, your ship will automatically burn out to 40 kilometers and then set up an orbit so that you don't have to do anything, you don't have to care about your positioning other than shooting targets. So do that now. Click orbit, click out your micro warp drive, and watch the starburst maneuver happen. Everyone will burn out to 40 kilometers and then set up their own orbits. And this is what happens when we accidentally, or purposefully, depending on the situation, jump into a fleet because this doctrine is not meant to fight at zero, it is not meant to fight on gates, it is extremely weak, it has no logi, and this is bad. So this is a last ditch effort. This we starburst out to 40 kilometers, we kill what we can, usually the tackle, and then their interdictors or their tacklers will not be able to stop all of us. So whoever is lucky enough to be outside of a bubble at that point warps off and their ship is saved. So this is if we're doing this, uh, expect about half of us to die. But what happens hey. if rooks with smart bombs show up? Laugh and shoot them. Because they, they have line, six they kilometer have... range and we have a hundred kilometer range. Time machine isn't real, bro. Cool. So if you burnt anything, uh -oh. uh, go ahead and head back to SS Gamma Station, wrap up. I'll give you guys two minutes, and then we're going to head out. Once you're ready, uh, get on the Deedle Gate in SS Gamma. If there are any questions, you don't understand what we're doing, then let me know now, because after this it's going to get pretty chaotic.